Hi, this is Jay with JRWeldy.net. Today's Saturday, August 8th, 730 AM. And uh, I want to talk about something that can legitimately and profoundly change the way that small, medium, and even large businesses can be all on the same page. I deal with a lot of SMBs uh, in the state of Delaware here. I'm a sole proprietor of uh, a technology firm uh, located in Camden, Delaware. And most of my customers are multi-location retail uh, vendors dealing with multiple manufacturing lines, uh, agricultural primarily, um, lawn and garden home, that sort of thing. But they have multi-locations. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to talk about enterprise social networks. And in our private lives, we have Twitter and we have Facebook and we have uh, applications like that that make it easy to communicate with each other. Then we get to work and we're slammed into um, legacy application, desktop applications that aren't accessible over the internet. We uh, work in archaic document management systems, things like that. that aren't easy, they're hard to maintain. There's uh, a thing that I, I, I don't know if I coined the term or not, but technology burden, IT burden. The, the cost of uh, managing all these legacy desktop applications running around and updating and things like that. It's a lot easier than it used to be, but it's still a burden. And uh, we're going to go ahead and log into XO Platform. This is a paid and open source application, very similar to web application, very similar to Facebook. You can see I have my agenda here of what I'm doing today on a Saturday, and it's pretty much all a honey-do list and party. <laughs> uh, we have forum spaces for any space that's created. We have the ability to import uh, links to YouTube videos, documents, uh, download, upload of documents, and embedded video right within the document management system. So you can see uh, we have a feed going on here, and uh, we also have up here alerts. And we have chat. If there were other users available in chat, we would see that. We can also set ourselves to do not disturb, away, etc. Invisible. And this works the same way Facebook works. So if I have colleagues in my organizational unit that I need to communicate with, uh, I can add them as co-workers here. I would see their feed, they'd see my feed, and any shared documentation in the system that is available to them and our bosses. All the way up the chain to where one man is seeing just what he needs to see, man or woman, I'm sorry, uh, saying what they need to see at the very top of what's going on within their organization. I have a hard time selling enterprise social networks and I don't know why because it, it works so easily to see what you need to see. I think employers feel that their employees are going to be in here chatting up everybody all day long and not accomplishing anything and that's really not what it's meant to be. It's meant to be a portal, a platform to log into and share documentation and workflow um, very easily. And we're going to hop into what I call embedded apps. Now, everything that you're seeing here is web based. No plugins are required whatsoever to do anything. So you're not paying an IT administrator or a technician to go out and install software on employees' home computers or laptops or anything like that. This is all server-side and works right in the box. Now, Exo Platform does a wonderful job of wikis, document management, calendaring, um, task management. I can add an event or a task to an another employee 
I can schedule appointments within the system to other employees. I can get email notifications of events that are happening all right within here. And I can also create topics and upload files and create polls. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into, uh, let me do documents first. There's public documents and there's private documents. And I have um, a few setup files, videos, documents, and customer files. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in to uh, here. And we can see that I have some PDFs, etc. Let me go ahead and well, let me do this one because I know I've got some PDFs here. Here is Sage Construction and Real Estate, a legacy application. But uh, I can go full screen on this. I can download this document, etc. I'm going to go back out and we're going to find a Excel document. And so I have um, some Excel documents. Now, the neat thing about this is if your employee has Excel on their computer, wherever they may be located, maybe it's somebody that could be a work at home employee. They don't need to come into a corporate office environment. They could work right from their PC at home. Open in Excel. I can download it, but what's the use of doing that? I don't want a whole bunch of the same document floating around. I want one document on the server that's edited and everybody's on the same page. So if I'm on a Windows machine, I'm on a Mac right now, but if I were on a Windows machine, I could click on Open in Excel. It brings a copy of that document and opens up Excel on my local computer where I can edit it. It's locked on the server. Other employees or people in the organization that need to have access to that file can see it in a locked state. They cannot edit it until I'm done editing it. When I click the Save button, it unlocks it on the server with my changes and it's available to another user to do what they need to do within it. So that's very handy. Now, there's another way to go about that. Say that um, my organization doesn't want to necessarily have the burden of installing Microsoft Office on everybody's laptop and computer, but they need to have Microsoft Office. Something I call embedded apps, and this is a customization that I did specifically within Exo Platform. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, what this does, and again, plug in free, is either send in the web browser a complete remote desktop or a remote application. So as an example, we'll go ahead and click on Remote Office. Now I have the ability to open up a spreadsheet. Let's go back to Embedded Apps and say that I need access to a legacy email application that only runs on Windows. And there it is. I have my legacy Windows application running in a web browser. Now I can minimize that and open back up my open office calculator, which is basically Excel, Open Office's version of Excel. And if I need to go back to mail, I can do that. However, there might be times where an employee would need access to the complete remote desktop app or remote desktop. So I now have Windows 7 running with the same applications because it's all pointing to the same place. But any application on the network, regardless of the what server it's running on, can be 
present it right within this window on the platform. Uh, again, plug-in free. So I also have my social feed down below. If I go in and I do something within a uh, Excel document or a Word document, or even uh, in project management applications that aren't available in a web browser, now can be, uh, I can make a little note down here to my colleagues that I've made a change to a project and uh, when they come in they'll be alerted and I can even do a mention at admin, it's going to bring up admin now mention I'm going to share that. Now, in addition to him seeing this in the feed, he or she, when they come in, they'll also get an email and a daily report. So every day the system emails out what's been going on that's pertinent to the user, specific user at any given time. All right, we're going to go back to embedded apps. And uh, in a, regards to this window, what you're seeing, uh, again, a customization is uh, the ability to add groups and users. So within uh, each specific user, they're only saying the applications that they're need, they need to do to work through the course of their day. So an employee who maybe doesn't need to, get, again, come into the office can work from their computer at home, do the work that they need to do, have remote print capability and uh, work the way they want to work. They can come in and do a remote application within the uh, HTML5 portal here or they can uh, go to remote apps which I'm not sure I have exactly set up now but I do. I have remote office. So what this does is create a RDP connection with full TS print capability to the computer, remote computer. Nice thing about the embedded apps is that if you have network printers within your organization, I can be at home and I can be printing out my reports to a specific printer in someone's office. So uh, that's really handy. I can just print out what I need them to see right there at their office. But I don't like printing myself. I think uh, with the advent of all this new technology, um, it's pretty handy to not have to do a lot of printing. Okay, so we're going to go back up here. I'm going to say available. And the other customization that I have is two things. Peer-to-peer -peer video chat which will ask me up here, do I want to enable my camera and microphone immediately? and it's on. Now I can take that number there, text it to a coworker, and we can do a peer-to-peer -peer video meeting, person to person. That's pretty easy to do. Also in regards to this because when you have multi-locations, that's me, when you have multiple locations you can do a video conferencing and uh, create a room with up to 30 people. So uh, that's handy too. You can uh, send the link by email. You can share PDFs. You can even share your screen um, in full screen. So that's uh, a nice addition to the portal. That's about the handle on the platform as I've built it. Document management, wiki, um, connections, calendars, forums. Uh, the other nice thing about chat is if I open up chat, I'm going to drag this window out. And I'm going to resize it. And let's say we need to have an agenda and a meeting. So I would go back into my video conferencing or my peer-to-peer -peer video and um, let me grab a document here.
let's go ahead and start a conference. I would ask everybody uh, within the group to meet under business connections and I can start a meeting now. I'm going to hit this play button, a meeting started, and everybody that would come into this meeting would be identified here and we'll type some things. And I would be notified that the meeting is happening. And I can even schedule meetings within the calendar application of this. All right. So um, I need to add the agenda. I've just dragged and dropped that PDF in. So now that PDF is available to everybody in the room. And I can take notes while we're having our video conference. Time's money to me. Um, why do you want to have, with multi-locations, all your GMs running an hour and a half or two hours to a meeting and back to their office? And then, of course, the time of the meeting when you can all sit in the comfort of your own office and have a meeting, video meeting with notes going on. So uh, I'll go back to chat and... meeting has ended. Now I'm going to stop the meeting and I'm going to say I want to save as a wiki. If I come over to Business Connections because that's the room that I was in and go to the wiki and I don't really have to go to it that way. Click on meeting notes. Sorry, I gotta get one into one more place. There's my meeting notes. There's the files, the attendees, and the discussion. Version one. I can come in here and I can edit this if I need to so that um, make additional notes and it'll be saved and time stamped just like everything else. So that's a, a pretty neat little deal on how to record meetings so you don't have to worry about writing a whole bunch of stuff down and then converting it over to a uh, text document. I'm Jay with jrweldy.net. Sorry this video is a little longer than uh, normal, but uh, that's XO Platform with a lot of customization in regards to video conferencing and remote applications. Have a great day. Please stay safe.